Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Tanani here with my friend Darnell from Discovering SCP. Say hi, Darnell. I've broken out of the podcast into the normal videos. I can't now. believe it. He's escaped my prison. So. I have broken containment. I am the SCP. Uh, hello guys, it's Darnell here. So we've got a bit of a positive reception to the videos we made about uh, how to write an SCP, how to write a tale. And um, our how to write an SCP video was very short, just sort of a bite-sized quick start mm -hmm. guide. So I thought it might be helpful for some guys if we... Um, Went a bit in depth into each sort of part of the SCP there. Yeah, and Tan offered to actually help me co-write an SCP that we'll do for you guys, um, because I got pretty inspired during this video, and I actually had a really cool idea I wanted to do with it. Cool, so we'll get to that idea in a little bit. So basically how this series is going to work is we're going to go through each part of the SCP. For this uh, episode, we're going to be going the item number, object class containment procedures, and we're going to so go... Basically everything but the description. Oh, there's addendums as well, be fair. Okay. I'm sorry. And we're going to get through um, each video, do more and more of the SCP, and hope, and maybe we can go through the feedback process as well. Mm -hmm. And once we're satisfied with it, we'll throw it up on the wiki, see how it does. It's a little bit of a and, social um, experiment. One thing, Tanny, this, Tanhony, this Tanny. might be better brought Tanny? <laughs> this might be better brought up for the description one, but... Uh, I've heard that some people take a different approach. This isn't always the exact order you need to go in. Some people write the description, and then when they know what their SCP does, it's easier to write how it's contained. Mm. Yeah, that is a legit writing style. I myself... Like, some... do you usually do the containment first? That's right, yeah. I always get through the containment procedures first. I think I mentioned this into my How to Write an SCP video, but it's not really my favorite part, so I feel better getting through it and getting to the parts that I enjoy more. Well, good thing I'm here, because I love this part. Okay. I always have fun when you're first reading me the containment procedures. If you guys watch the podcast, I'm always trying to guess what it's going to be. Yeah, that's... I'll be like, oh, yo. <laughs> yeah. So, um, this idea that you've been mentioning, um, I don't believe I've heard it yet, so... Um, this, yeah. Since we're going to be writing special containment procedures for it today, why don't you uh, let us know? Of course. So, I was um, I was listening to your video, and I actually... Okay. This idea hit me out of nowhere, I swear. This is, like, the, the most unique thing I've ever come up with. It was... Um, right. I, it's really fresh, I think. It might bring something new to the wiki, breathe some life into it, you know? Okay. Um, I had, so it's like, it's like this bird made oh, of crystal. Fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's like a bird, alright, so it's like, think Articuno, but smaller. Okay, right? like, like a chicken. Yeah, yeah, like a chicken, but it can fly. Okay, like a bird. so is this an actual chicken that's crystal, or is it just a bird that's sh sized like a chicken that right. does the crystals? So, so here's, here's what's, here's what's so unique about it, right? Right. So Let's anything that touches the, anything that touches the chicken skin becomes crystal. So its feathers and everything are like hard crystal. But in theory, it, if the SCP organization like lasers through the crystal, they'll see its skin is just skin and it's a normal chicken. But okay. anything that directly touches that skin, including its own feathers, becomes crystals. And we say anything becomes crystal. Is that anything? Anything, anything, or organic or inorganic. That's pretty dangerous. <laughs> Although I did, I did have kind of a cool idea where, like, maybe they test various materials and there are a couple metals, like maybe some of the custom SCP ones, like beryllium, that hmm. don't turn to crystal or something. Okay, well, we can um, have a look and at then that. that yeah. and, that could, and that could suit the containment procedures. Maybe a cage made of beryllium so it won't turn to crystal. Maybe. We could even make up our own metals, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Well. And maybe we'll just throw a Faraday cage in for good measure. <laughs> I don't see how that will help containing the crystal bird, but... Uh, well, actually, because can't crystals resonate with different frequencies? Is he sending out transmissions in his crystals? Well, he might be receiving them, and maybe if he gets overwhelmed, they'll explode. Maybe they're highly... Maybe the crystals aren't normal crystals. Maybe they're highly fragile, and when a, a certain noise or frequency hits them, it causes them to explode. So it could not only mean the death of the SCP, but the death of a lot of people in the containment if they don't keep it away. Okay. But maybe we're getting ahead of ourselves. For now, yeah, we're sort of I packing would, this idea full here. Yes, for now, I would say we're deciding on the object class, right? Yeah. I would think the chicken is would try to break out sometimes, but being like a dumb animal, I think Euclid would fit like just a little bit of maintenance on the work would be enough. It's not gonna like bust out like like shy guy or something, right? Yeah. Maybe along the lines of you Doc Keeter. Nice, nice. Throwing out some suggestions here. Gig Drizil. Uh, How about object class crystal? Just to get real fucky with it. Because it literally makes crystals. Then we'll go through some possibilities here. Uh, how many, how many can we come up with? How many can we come up yeah. with? Uh, 
<laughs> Benjamin Franklin. <laughs> yeah, let's not spend too much time. Right, on this, yes, 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 we're making a video. Okay. Right, so object class, if we're going the normal person route, I think Euclid. If you wanna, you did say you respected people who make uh, original ones. We could make crystal because there are several SCPs that are crystal related and they might warrant hmm. their own object class. I don't think so. They're usually very outside the norm though it gets an esoteric class. All right. In that case, we'll stick with Euclid. Okay. So we've already got our item number, SCP Bird, which we will, as the video discussed, we'll replace that with numbers when we're done at the end. So we don't worry about our number getting... How do I do a fucking right. uh, bullet point today? I'm getting our ideas down. So, right, our special containment procedures. So, we, I talked about the idea, we might mention the description, where it turns everything into crystals that it touches, except for a couple of different metals. So... Um, the important part of containment will be using one of those metals to construct some sort of box or room or things that it can interact with that won't turn to crystal. Mm. Another important thing would probably be feeding it with food injected with said metal so that anything it doesn't it eats doesn't turn to crystal and lodge in its throat and kill it. Right, yes. Right. So these are already some unique things we can look into our special containments. And as an outsider looking in, they're going to read this and be like, wait, why do they need to use this weird metal? Why are they putting the metal in the food? Is it something that eats metal? Is it some sort of golem, maybe? So that already adds a little bit to the mystery, right? Okay. Well, I do have this thing that I was planning to do on the wiki fairly soon, this little uh, series of articles. And I can work into sort of a unique metal into that. So maybe we can link that in a little bit. I'm fine. This is a collaboration between yeah. the two greatest minds on the SCP wiki. Wow. Uh, Tanhoney and the guy that hasn't written an SCP. <laughs> Uh, and certainly, I'm still the one writing it, but we, we, we can't both. It's it collaboration. Is. Okay, so. It is a collaboration. It's like 95% Tanhoney and 5% me. The crystal chicken turns anything it skins touches into crystal. And. Uh, certain metals, and we might work in your metals. So, the first thing you guys notice is Tanhoney isn't just typing sentences in the containment. He's making a list of notes that we can reference to use for the special mm. containment procedure. Because we're all. We, as you probably have called this video ideas and containment procedures because uh right sort of the well, conceptual an important part of writing isn't just immediately vomiting on the paper it's getting your ideas in order organizing them like so some people you guys probably i assume have been through high school or in some schooling and your english teacher probably made you do the concept webs where you like draw yeah. the circle and it's an idea and in school that was probably like that's stupid just let me write and if you're just writing like a, a paper for school sure but when you're writing something creative that's actually really helpful you don't always have to do a web, but having some sort of high school, <laughs> but having having some sort of way to map your thoughts out and sort of plan where you're going ahead of time will make your writing more coherent when you actually sit down to write. Otherwise, you'll quickly get writer's block. You won't know what you want to do. You'll get mm. frustrated, and you may even, if you get uh, stalled enough, just quit the thing altogether, which yeah, is a shame. Very easy for that to happen. Yeah, which is why so I write all my articles in a day. I don't so give myself to time. Put pressure on yourself to start writing right away, because if you do, and then you go slower than someone else who writes an article. Like Tan writes an article in a day or two, but mm. he has talked to me before about how he comes up with the idea in his head, then puts it down. Yes, um, I, my own my own process is I usually have at least the general shape of the article all sketched out in my head before I go near the keyboard. Exactly. So, like, maybe you would want to actually write it out. He just does it in his head. But the point is, he doesn't just sit down and type. And if he did, it probably would take him longer than a day or two. And mm. he'd probably get frustrated, naturally. So the first thing you want to do uh, to help your writing is to actually lay out a plan. You don't have to have every word and every plot just planned, but you want some ideas and some directions you can go. And then you can expand on that as you sit down. And write. So, like I said, he's got a bullet point up. I don't know why high school's on there. Sorry, uh, I don't think the ideas. chicken goes to high school. But yes, we have a crystal chicken, turns anything its skin touches into crystal, save for certain metals, and it's important to uh, involve that with food. Be um, be based on how its power works, it is also a danger to itself, similar to mm. the ultra-vulnerable mammal, but not probably to such a great extent. it turns what it eats into crystals that create up. Exactly. And um, we also mentioned maybe its crystals resonate with certain frequencies, so it might explode itself. Right. So to so an extent, it needs to be protected. So maybe it feeds it in, they feed it intravenously. But exactly. how do they prevent the thing from becoming crystal? 
Right. So I would imagine for food, like we said, injected metal, they probably have a cage that it won't turn to crystal so the cage doesn't explode. And then they probably have a Faraday cage outside of that container. Faraday. And, I, and then what, mm, I don't know about and, this idea with the signals. I feel we might be overcomplicating the idea a bit. You're right. You, that's true. And Tanhoney brings up a good point. I'm excited. I'm getting caught up. You don't want to put too much shit in. You want to focus on one or two central themes, mm. or else it's just going to become a mess. Because it's tempting. Um, I actually, um, I, I like to DM and do role-playing games, and some of you may be familiar, it's tempting to try and write out, like, a huge backstory or a huge lore, but if you, if you write too much, uh, and you don't have a focus, then no one's gonna read it, because it's just gonna be a giant essay. Like, think about it, everyone agrees the Lord of the Rings is brilliant, but no one reads the Silmarillion, except for insane Ooh. nerds. The I mean, it's true, Spicy right? Lords of the Rings takes, yeah. But, come on, Tan, there's truth to that, right? I, I don't know. I don't know. I've not read the wow. I can't say. Wow. So, right, okay. Well, let's put it this way, then. Uh, many people read a book, but you wouldn't read the dictionary casually. Okay. Yeah, I agree with you there. But let's get um, into the, the mess of it here. We're talking okay. very theoretically here. Let's, let's actually do it. Yes. So, uh, so maybe... You mentioned your... Yes? Maybe uh, we can go with the sad angle here. Because this chicken has a shit life, let's be honest. Yeah. It needs to be protected and not die. Its its feathers turn to crystal, so it can't fly like other chickens, mm. which is probably would lead to a depression of some kind. Well, chickens aren't known for soaring through the sky, so I don't know about that. I mean, chickens can fly to an extent. That's why they have to have their wings. Yeah, but <laughs> you don't see swarms of chickens flying free. Well, here's here's another thing, Tan. I okay. don't know if you know this because I've actually worked on several farms. Okay. And a common thing that farm kids like to do is drop chickens from the top of barns. Yeah, I've played Legend of Zelda. Slowly. Yeah, but the, outside Zelda, that's a real thing you can do. Do you have However, one to them? If that happened to this crystal, uh, uh, to this crystal chicken, not only would it drop, but maybe its crystals would shatter and it would break its body. Jesus. So it can't, it can't do things like other chickens. It's limited. Right. Body made partially out of crystal, then. It's not just a coating. Yeah, well, it's feathers, right? Maybe it's replacing some of its organs, even. Like, part of it is just crystal. Yeah. Maybe if, if over were... time it's becoming more and more crystal, so it's inevitable that at some point it is just going to die. Yeah. So, the SCP, the SCP Foundation, what they, maybe part of the containment procedures is every week, a uh, D-Class goes in with a laser in a suit covered with the metal that won't get infected and has to laser off some of the crystal so it doesn't get to be too much. Mm, I like the idea that there's nothing they can do about it slowly being overrun by the crystal, though. Yeah, they're, they're basically just delaying the inevitable that way, though. Because mm. it's, it's in replacing its insides as well. Eventually, it's just going to be a crystal statue fall over break. Exactly. Um, and that might be something... I don't want to get too into that because for the description, but that might be a sad angle to take with the description. The Foundation's trying to get as much research as they can before it inevitably dies. Mm. But for now, let's focus on containment. So we know that this containment... Uh, it needs to be fed specially, it needs to be contained specially, and people that enter need a suit with the special metal, and they need to, at least towards delaying it from just crushing under its own crystal weight, they need to shave off some of the crystal. So now let's put these into actual sentences and make a story out of them. Right, right? okay. Alright, so from here, I've been doing a lot of talking, but Tan, this is where you start to shine, so I'm gonna let you start to put this into words yourself, and I... If you have anything to say to the audience, please. It's I time to like go into my mind palace. <laughs> okay. What's it like in there? What's it look like in your mind? It's palace? like it's a giant manna. Do you actually have a mind paper. palace? I, I to... do not have a mind palace. Oh. I tried to make one when I was a teenager and I, I had two ADHD. Maybe there's an SCP that is someone's mind palace. We can't, but that's for another day. Yeah. See, look how great this man is. He's constantly thinking of ideas. Okay. Crystal is fragile, days numbered, bodies made partially out of crystal. Even when its internal organs replaced, the crystal somehow still function as that organ. So yes. that's why it isn't dead already. And, maybe, we, and we mentioned... Oh, go ahead. Maybe it was owned by a con man, like I mentioned in How to Make an SCP, who's been sort of selling the crystals on. Yeah. And, and that makes sense, because have you ever heard of that chicken that had its head cut off, and they basically put it around as a show? Yeah. A living chicken with its head off. So that maybe a farmer didn't want it, so he sold it to a con man, and the con man basically treated it like a circus freak animal. Hmm. Uh, which the foundation quickly detained, because people shouldn't see that. And yeah. then they gave everyone who's seen the show amnestic. Well, going out to country, see the crystal chicken? Aye. <laughs> 
and maybe if he's a con man, maybe he lied about the... Maybe they're like blue crystals, right? And he said, anything the chicken touches turns to diamond. Only a hundred dollars to get something turned to diamond. Mm. And he used it as like a con, right? Yes, that's good. So it looks like diamonds then? Yeah, it's like probably light blue, kind of shiny. But uh, I, analysis would probably reveal it's just some sort of... It's either an anomalous metal or maybe it's just some sort of shittier metal like silicone. Or concentrated, like solidified it. earth for the weird factor. Yeah, exactly. Okay, well, we've got a good idea here. We're not going to fully do the entire article today. Let's get into the special containment procedures. Aye. So, I have down an idea for the name of the uh, metal here. This is probably subject to change once I think we're a better one. Yeah, but... yeah, just use a placeholder metal for everything with the suits, the D-class, use the food, and the cave. Right. Bird, bird is okay. to be kept. So a lot of people, I, I, some people do frown on this future tense that I do here, but that is just sort of my own writing style, so it's hard just if to not going, do. If we're going for a sad SCP, um, oh, you oh yeah, 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 yeah. Numbered, maybe past tense, like it's already gone, and we can specify it's been neutralized. No, 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 I got a good idea. Until, yeah. until the time of its death. SCP um, bird actually, is to be kept. They use they use a lot of terminology, right? Maybe until time of expiration. Uh, that sort of obfuscates it a bit, though. I want it to be very very clear that it's going to die. Right. I don't want any yeah. ambiguity there. Understandable. Kept in a standard, not humanoid, because it's not human. Uh, maybe something resembling a chicken coop. Small fauna containment chamber. Mm -hmm. With pe I was, I would say periodic periods. <laughs> With, With periods of periods of exercise permitted in the fields out periods. Site blank. Of I think in site forty five here that I've just mentioned, it's just I've come up with it in my head just now. It's sort of a rural maybe in England, countryside. So it's a bit more relaxed there. There's a lot of sort of land around so they can walk this chicken. And then if you really wanted to build on this in the future, maybe you could have that be like where other animalistic SCPs. Hmm. Well, there's already sort of a group of interest for that, but this is sort of a different tone from that. Of course. So I don't want to get that involved right now. So yeah, so. Site 45, rural area. Well, personnel who interact with SCP bird. Are to wear... to wear full body hazard suits interwoven with Guinevereum. Oh, that's a funny name. Like Guinevere from Arthurian Legends. Yeah, that is sort of a mythos I'm trying to put together right now on the wiki. I like that. I might just keep that name. Maybe maybe this is just an animal that was involved with Arthurian Legends. It's... Hmm. I, I don't want to complicate too much with that kind of backstory, but... Uh... Yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. Mm. I'm, he I'm I'm speaking headcanon rather than what I want you yeah, to write. Yeah, like yeah. We're writing the SCP, so <laughs> probably a bad time. To Is traits is the right word there? I wonder, you have to be very specific with your wording here, because... Um... Interwoven with, with, um, with, I would say, trace, uh, trace... Amount. Trace makes it sound like it's something that's just been found in the suit. No, it no, no. Say trace, amount, yeah, trace amount. Yeah, but trace amount. Trace amount. Tra trace amounts of Guinevereum sounds like we looked at the suit and there are trace amounts of Guinevereum. Like we didn't put them there, which right, isn't what isn't the right sort of wording. Well, I don't think. Can Guinevereum be? Uh, you mentioned it's interwoven. If it can be thread-like, maybe you could say a thread count. Mm, small amounts of Guinevereum, I think, is better. Small amount. It sounds a little less scientific. Maybe something like fifty grams. That's, that feels too specific, though, because we don't need to know that. Because okay. the, we're not put, the people who read this aren't making the suits. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. Interwoven with small amounts of wood. Okay. So, see, he's working me through the process. We're bouncing ideas off. And, you know, Tan's the one with more experience, so I trust his mm. judgment. Only. Unless I'm specifically going for short containment procedures, I like to have three sentences in the first paragraph here. Mm -hmm. Any personnel who make... Contact with SCP bird without sufficient protection are to report to medical immediately. Should we also specify the containment chamber is made out of Guinevereum? 
Um, yeah, we'll we'll get more into that in the second paragraph here. So, uh, so we basically put out the abstract of the special containment, the short and skinny of what's to come. Right? Right. I don't. I like the idea, though, that small fauna containment chamber, we can't make that Ogre of Ian because maybe we don't have enough of that. Mm -hmm. It's not something we can make a building out of. So maybe, maybe uh, to make it cheaper, you just have an electric fence so the chicken gets shocked if it tries to step outside the boundaries. Hmm. Because that would prevent it from turning everything in the world to crystal, right? Right. Like, yeah. We can't afford Grinivirum containment, so let's just put something that can't be something that's not solid matter um, that can like shock the chicken and keep it in the containment. Hmm. Maybe like noise. I don't know if chickens can like hear on different frequencies. Maybe it's like a, like a, you know like a dog whistle. Uh, let me look up if there's some sort of can chickens hear chicken on whistle different frequencies. Or you know what you could do that might be funny is you could mm. just play the sounds of like coyotes or wolves on the perimeter, and it just sort of chases it back to the center. Well, I imagine we've got like cattle prods. I don't feel like we need to mention that really. Mm -hmm. So I think that's okay. We don't have to go into that specific detail. So a good thing about containment procedures as well is, in universe, if the Thespian Foundation was real, these containment procedures would be pages upon pages upon pages. Right. But we, to be fair, no one I can be bothered reading that shit. <laughs> I have a different preference from Tan. He's a more experienced writer, and I know the wiki has apparently changed in the later seasons, but I'm used to... Sorry, not seasons. Uh, what do you call them? Series? Yeah, yeah. Series what, but series 1 and 2 were usually a bit more scientific and lengthy, and those are what I'm used to and kind of prefer, but that doesn't necessarily mean that no. I'm in the right here. I trust Tan. No, what I mean me. is we're not going to every single aspect of containment because that's not practical. In If right. SP is real, these containment procedures will be entire files, like folders. <laughs> Yeah, but because it's sort of the conceit of the fiction here that we, right. the 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 this limited, that we don't right. say fifty grams of Grinevere and we don't say the coordinates of the containment cell, the material right. that's made of the size. Well, we should definitely specify that the, the material needs to be something special because that later comes into play why this why this creature is a bit of a of a of a nuisance so it turns everything hmm. to crystal. Well, okay, maybe. A deep clean of SCP birds containment chamber. Containment. That makes sense. Maybe they have to shave off the crystals yeah. on the walls. And we won't be specific about it until later. And so you can look back and say deep clean was this. We you right. can sort of con understand that that's where it's referring to. That makes more sense. To and you know what? That also makes sense because remember the the gimmick here is that uh, they need to get what research they can. So maybe they shave the crystals off and take them to go look at them closer and see. And um, maybe that's how, in the description, they figure out what it is, the crystal. Hmm. A crude you know contamination. I want to be very specific with the wording here. I don't want it to be like, in case it's been contaminated. It's it's been contaminated. This is inevitable. We're just cleaning it every three, three times a week. And also, by keeping it vague right now, like, in the video, we've talked so much about what it does. It turns things to crystals. Hmm. We haven't really mentioned that in the containment. Because we're building up to the yeah. article, we're building the suspense. The point of the containment procedures is not to have the context. You're yes. doing things, but you don't know why. It's supposed to hint. It's supposed to make you want to guess, like, what is it? Yeah. Get your theories right. I like that. So a deep clean of um, SP birds containment chamber is because that's three times a week. Maybe something really like twice, twice. Uh, maybe, maybe rather than lacing its food with the metal, it's just its its food needs to be pounded to a very finite, thin powder so it doesn't choke. Mm. Well, maybe twice a day, SCP bird is to be rendered unconscious mm -hmm. and fed intravenously. So I imagine very carefully, but because it's unconscious, they can do this. Uh, apologies, what's intravenously mean? It's like with a IV. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. But wouldn't the IV turn to crystal? But, well, if it moved and touched the skin, yeah, but we're doing it very carefully because it's unconscious, so it's not moving around. Okay, so like squirting it into its... Yeah, in a cordance... With nutritional, this is a fucking, this is a cheat I love. Nutritional sharp bird one. I don't yeah, have to say what's in nutritional sharp bird yeah. one. And then be, it, it's basically the equivalent of when people say see document, but it doesn't link to anything. Yeah, I love doing that. Because yeah. you don't really want to know what we're feeding the chicken. No one cares, really. I mean, yeah, it's probably just chicken feed. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, is so to be taken. To inch, and this will be the end of containment procedures here. This will be like, you'll still be like, aha, uh -huh, moment, like, what do you mean? Carry speaking to ensure the equipment does not make contact 
with SCP Bird's skin at any point during this process. So that sort of makes you think a little bit, like, what happens if you touch its skin? And if you want to get really... what's the... hang on. Uh, if you wanted to get really scientific, rather than skin, you could say epidermal tissue. Mm. Because that's what skin is. Yeah, but that feels scientific for the sake of it. Like, right. I don't want people going off to Google what epidermal tissue is. I want you to read it and understand this is skin. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so um, anything else you feel we need in the containment procedures here? So we've got the containment. We, we specified it needs to be crude. We specified how it's going to be fed. We specified that uh, we're to, it's to be, whatever it is, we're to avoid making contact without proper full body hazard suits interwoven with guinevereum. Hmm. And last we, lastly, we've specified um, that... We'll probably have a uh, footnote next to guinevereum. In particular, we are not to make contact with its skin, which kind of, that last sentence gives enough of a hint that you'll start to piece it together by the time you just get into the description, right? Yes, I agree with you. I'll look at some good... This will be a footnote. I'm just putting in brackets here because it don't have right. that capability. And... All right, you will add that later as a footnote. That makes sense. And, you know, um, another interesting thing is this thing's inevitably going to die, right? Yes. So one take is um, the fact that we're able to spare the Guinevereum is purely because we know this SCP will terminate so we can repurpose it later. Mm. So it's not like we need to use it forever for this thing. Yeah. All right. And... So we've got a, a pretty solid containment procedures. Yeah, I think so. We've built up to the objects. You can sort of get a good sort of outline of what we're going for. We're hinting it. The wider universe of the Guinevereum there. And right. once I write the SCP that features that more prominently, I'll make that a link to that SCP. Mm -hmm. uh, and we've we've given an element of danger. It's like, don't, if you touch this, report to medical immediately. Right. So in the next episode, we're going to move on to the description, which is where we're going to get into the meat of the article, as I yeah. believe I said the called it. The description will be... It'll probably... So just basic description is probably going to be uh, what it does, how they found it, and the fact that it's inevitably going to die and what's been harvested from it. Yes, and then with the addendums, I imagine we'll go into the backstory. That sounds good to me. So we've got ourselves a solid setup. You guys probably have an idea of what we'll go over in the description at a later time. Um, mm. But this is kind of a good way to do special containment procedures. As you can see, what we did is we brainstormed what the thing was and some of the things it did. And, you know, not every idea was a winner, but we didn't beat ourselves up when I said, like, the yeah, sound thing Yes, the brainstorming process. Wall. We're throwing things at the wall, seeing what sticks. Yeah, so don't beat yourself up. Like, the sound idea, we toss out the window, but that, that doesn't mean you should get upset with yourself because it doesn't work. Just be willing to take the criticisms and be willing to sort through your ideas. Don't be afraid to throw things even if they sound stupid. Then, like Tan said, see what sticks. Yeah. So, yeah, hopefully this has helped you out a little so far with your own special containment procedures, maybe. And hopefully we'll be able to help you out as we go through this series in writing your SCP in full. And if you plagiarize this bird, I will personally see you. We'll find out. Yeah. We'll have a new crystal statue outside the Discovering SCP offices. <laughs> Hope you All enjoyed right. the video. See you yes, next time. Out.